So my name is Christopher Emden, and I'm an Associate Professor of Science Education at Teachers College at Columbia University, where I also serve as the Associate Director of the Institute for Urban and Minority Education and the Director of the Program in Science Education in the Department of Mathematics, Science, and Technology. And in, in addition to all of that, I'm the author of the book uh, For White Folks Who Teach in the Hood and the Rest of Y'all Too, Reality, Pedagogy, and Urban Education. Uh, the book For White Folks Who Teach in the Hood was birthed out of just my experiences as a student in urban schools, but also as a researcher who was going into schools, um, trying to address the needs of urban youth of color, and realizing that a high percentage of the educators were actually not from those communities, and they, were, they didn't represent the sort of like uh, social and uh, economic, socioeconomic or ethnic racial uh, diversity that was rep in, the school, in the student body. So it was an interesting thing to me. You know, the students were underperforming in school, and then the teachers don't necessarily look like or sound like or are from the neighborhoods of the school. Now, this doesn't mean that those teachers were going to suck automatically, um, but, but it meant that there was something around the fact that they didn't know each other's experiences that I had to focus on. Also, the book is entitled For White Folks Who Teach in the Hood and the Rest of Y'all Too, because I found that there were educators of color who were also teaching in urban spaces who didn't come from the same socioeconomic background as the students or who didn't understand the students' realities who were also ineffective in their teaching and learning. So the book was like, listen, there's an issue around this cultural divide between the students and the teacher that I believe had to be confronted, had to sort of be brought to the fore, and, and had to be sort of troubled so we can get to a way of engaging um, educators in a way that really meets the needs of young people. So in the book, I talk about a philosophy around um, why there are these sort of uh, demographic shifts in schools and how the, the teaching body doesn't reflect that. Then I talk about how we need to connect back to teaching and learning as a focus on indigenous populations to our urban youth, who I call neo-indigenous. And then most importantly, I had to give educators practical, tangible, everyday techniques that they can implement when they go into the classroom tomorrow to be able to meet the needs of students in, quote unquote, the hood. And to me, the hood is any, any school, any community, any neighborhood where um, young folks are socioeconomically disadvantaged, where young folks don't have voice, where we have issues with the criminal justice system, and that unfortunately is a wide, a wide you know, set of spaces across uh, America. Um, there are more places where uh, I would categorize as the hood than there are that aren't the hood. So any place where you have young folks of color um, struggling, um, it's the hood. And in those spaces, we need to be able to give teachers um, techniques to be able to meet the needs of those young people.